Hello everyone and welcome back to the Green Developer channel. Today we're taking the next step for our Action Classifier app. This third part will look into taking the data we're already receiving from our video capture session and recognizing a human body pose within it. Let's get started. Let's start by importing our CreateML model into Xcode by dragging and dropping it in our project. Even though we won't be using it right away, we'll just get that step out of the way so we can use it later. We'll pick back up where we left off in the last video. We currently have a capture session that can be used to feed data from the camera to something else. That something else in our case will be a predictor class, which will do two things. Number one, recognize and store data related to a recognized human body pose within each frame of our video. And secondly, use that data to give us an educated guess on the action that has taken place over the last few frames of that video. To make this simple, we'll open up our capture class and add a predictor object. Hit command N to create a new Swift file and we'll call this predictor. In here, we'll create the predictor class. And here we'll start by importing Vision, the framework that will allow us to recognize a human body pose from our camera feed. Next, we can create the base function that will receive our camera data. We'll call this estimation and have it receive a CM sample buffer as a parameter. We'll create a vision image request handler, give it our sample buffer data and set the orientation to up. We'll then create the request that will be executed by our request handler. In this case, we're trying to find a human body pose within a video frame, so we'll create a vision detect human body pose request and add a completion handler to it. I called this completion handler body pose handler, fill in the request and error parameters, and we'll leave the rest empty for a second. We can go back to our estimation function and inside a do catch, we'll try to perform the request we just created using our request handler. printing out an error message if one occurs. If everything goes well, this should return our body pose handler some useful information. We'll take the request results and try to cast it to an array of vision human body pose observations. Each of those observations is a collection of recognized body points for each recognized person in frame. And with that, we can start doing some fun stuff like overlaying our camera preview with some drawings that we'll see if vision is correctly recognizing a person. Let's do that right now. Here, we'll loop over each observations and call process observation on each of them. This means that you can technically show the preview of found human body poses for multiple people in frame. And I'm doing it here since it doesn't really have any effect on the rest of the project. But you should definitely actually only allow one person in frame to test your project since we don't really account for more than that with our basic example. Here you could absolutely also only use the first element of the resulting array. We'll scroll down and create the process observation function which will receive this VN human body pose observation. Inside a do catch, we'll start by taking all the recognized points from our observation and storing it in a variable called recognized points. To display our points, we'll have to have them use capture device coordinates that have their origin in the top left corner. From trial and error, it seems like the resulting coordinates from our observation actually uses an origin in the bottom left. So we'll map these coordinates points to the coordinate system we need using this very simple transformation. Thank you. 
We then want to pass this data down to our view controller to be displayed. We can scroll back up and create a protocol called Predictor Delegate. And add to it the function did find new recognized points, which will receive an array of points. We will then add a delegate variable to our predictor class. We can scroll back down to process observation and use that delegate to pass down those points to be displayed. We'll now jump to our view controller inside view that load and set view capture dot predictor dot delegate to the view controller itself. This is a bit of a hack and couples our three classes quite strongly, but I'm writing it this way just to avoid a bit of boilerplate code. Obviously view controller doesn't confirm to predictor delegate yet, so we'll add that extension. Wait for Xcode to yell at us and let it fill in our function signature. Now, before we can use these points, we need somewhere to draw them. We'll add to view controller a variable called points layer and initialize it as a CA shape layer. Scroll down to set up video preview and add this new layer as a sub layer. Make it have the same frame and give it a stroke color which will be used for drawing our points. We can go back to our delegate function. We'll make sure our preview layer is correctly initiated. And here's why we did a small transformation to set our origin correctly for our points. We can now map these points to our layer coordinate space using the layer point converted function. We'll then create a CG mutable path and loop over our points. I won't go into details about CA shape layer or paths, but we'll basically add a dot to our path for each point we want to display with a width and height of 10. We can then set our points layer's path to the new created path. This will make it so every time we get a new update from our predictor, the path is updated to reflect the recalculated values. Since this is UI change, we need to make sure that it happens on the main thread. So we'll call dispatchQ.main.async and notify our points layer that the value for its path has changed, making it redraw all our points. Final step here, we'll go back to our video capture class since we never linked our data to all we just added. We'll go to the capture output and call the estimation function from our predictor, passing in our sample buffer. This should effectively trigger the process of finding a human body pose within a video frame and sending down the points that were found down to our view controller for it to be displayed using our new CA shape layer. We can build here and you should end up with a result similar to this one. Once you walk into frame, you should be able to move your arms and legs around and have dots that follow the joints and key points of your body, confirming that the vision framework is correctly finding human body poses within the frames that you're feeding it from your camera. I was expecting this project to fit within three videos, but judging from how long this has already been, I'll cut this here. The next video should have just about as much code and we'll take in those human body poses we are now finding and use them to try to classify the actual action happening on camera. Hope you all enjoyed this one. The next video is already recorded, so it should be out very shortly. I'll see you all then and until then, take care.